Hey guys, this is Brooke, and um, today I'm obviously by myself, and I'm at my house, hence the blue wall. And I'm sorry if that light is kind of bright, it's kind of the only setup I have <laughs> to make this work. Um, but today I'm actually going to be doing a video on tennis, and um, I have been playing tennis for... I started in 6th grade, so I'm in 11th grade, so 6... For five years. Whew, sorry. So, um, I've been playing tennis for five years, and, um, I'm not a very, it's not like my life or anything. I, I'll explain all that when we get into the video, though. But basically, this is just what I'm going to show you, kind of what I wear to play tennis, and my tennis racket, and just a little bit all about it. So, um, this is not your actual, like, original beauty video, so if you're not into this kind of stuff, you can just go ahead and exit out now, which I completely understand, but this is for people who maybe want to get started in a sport or whatever. So, anyways, let's get started. So, um, first, I guess I'll just start with, um, the basics. I've, like I said, I've been playing tennis since 6th grade, and I'm in 11th grade now, so about 5 years. Um, I ha I started because Sydney actually plays tennis, and she's a lot better than me. But, um, her whole family plays tennis, and, um, her dad's actually really good. But, yeah, so, they have been in tennis for forever, and so I used to always go play with Sydney, and then, Sydney and them, like, kind of just as fun, and then I got really into it when I, um, was in sixth grade, and I started going to lessons and stuff. And, um, I, when I was in sixth grade, I went to public school, and you couldn't play tennis, you couldn't be on a sports team in public school when you were in 6th grade. So I was in 7th grade, I went to a private school and I tried for the tennis team and Sydney Sow was the coach and um, I made it. And so I've been playing ever since and I was on JV my first two years, 7th um, and 8th grade and then I've been on varsity ever since. So yeah, it's a really fun sport. Let me just, I guess I'll just show you what I use and stuff. This is the bag I have. I don't know if it's all going to fit, but this is... Mm. It is a red Slazenger bag, and it has this pocket on the front. In that pocket, I just have um, a headband and uh, some body spray because I get kind of gross after tennis matches. And that's about all. I usually have some extra like shock absorbers in here and snacks during the season, but since it's not season, I don't keep that kind of stuff in there. And then in the first pocket, I have my tennis shoes which are just Nike tennis shoes, and they have neon pink laces because that is part of our uniform at school. And they are really worn, as you can see. Yeah, I have that. And then I have a thing of Advil because I have really bad back problems, so um, I use Advil sometimes before. And then another thing that has to do with my back problems, I have BioFreeze, which is, um, if y'all know what that is, you can just look it up because it's kind of hard to explain, but it helps with your muscles. And I have some tennis balls. I have this um brace because um my ankle i sprained my ankle in tennis season and so yeah and then in the next pocket i have my racket and more balls and then you when you play tennis you always have two rackets in case you bust one in the middle of the match your strings break and so this is the this was my first racket and as you can see the strings are busted so i didn't get this restrung and as you can see the grip is very gross and you re you do replace grips on tennis rackets um, every so once in a while. But this was my first racket, and Head is my favorite company to get rackets from. And that is just a racket company. It's, um, kind of an in-between expensive one. Babolat is kind of the most expensive when it comes to rackets. And, um, Sydney has a Babolat. And then, like, um, Princeton and stuff, you can get cheaper rackets. But Head is kind of in the middle. So, these are my favorite rackets. This racket's really heavy. And, um, this was my first racket. This used to be Sydney's old racket. And then when I got older. I got this racket, which is um, a head racket, and these things right here, and this is a Princeton one, but these things are called shock absorbers, and they're good to have on your rackets because they help with your elbow. Yeah, I've had this racket for about a year, a year and a half now, and I absolutely adore this racket. And some people like heavier rackets, some people like um, lighter rackets, just depends on your preference. So, um, I have no clue, like, what racket this is. Head T-I-S-2. But I don't, like I said, I don't, I'm not that serious about it. I play during season, which at school is um, from August to maybe mid, beginning of November, mid-October. Then I also had this, my, I don't know, 
this is just kind of like if I don't need to bring that whole case, I just stick my racket in here. Plus a um, case, and it's actually monogrammed on the front, so I can't show you that. But in the front, I just keep coins and stuff because usually when I go with this case, it's not with the team. I just want to play for fun, so if I ever need a drink or anything. And uh, tennis is a really great sport, though, if you are looking to get into a sport because you don't have to be, um, it's a really fun sport. And practices, we practice during season, we practice every day, except for Fridays. We usually have matches on Tuesdays and Thursdays. And they're really fun. And in tennis, there's a lot of rules that are kind of hard to get a hang up. And the scoring is a little bit weird and, like, the placing of everyone. And if y'all really wanted to learn about that, I could tell you guys about that. But that would take, like, probably 30 minutes to explain all that. But tennis is a really great sport, and I absolutely adore it. And so, yeah. And so, what I wear to tennis. Um... My tennis uniform at school, we usually have dresses. So this was our dress last year. I have my monogram on the back. Our tennis team's all about monograms. A navy. And then those are for home games. And then for away games, we have the exact same dress in white with our monogram on the front. And there's the mesh on the back. If you want to see that. And then sports bras. All, almost all of my sports bras are champion. Because they are my favorite. And this is just a neon one that I have. But then uh, another place to get really good sports bras, there's a white one, is um, Old Navy. I have a couple sports bras from there. There's a, there's a blue one. And I have more. And then um, you can get skirts. You can get ones that have spandex in them. And this is just like a little pleated skirt. And it has the spandex in it. Uh, but Or you can get ones that don't have um, spandex out of them like this, which is inside out. <laughs> and spandex you can just buy at any store you can buy them at dicks or a sporting goods store and they just look like this i have under armor ones or you can just get sh and you can get like colorful colorful skirts Woo! this is a skirt um from adidas that i have that does have the built-in spandex and it looks like this and has or and if you're just starting i would recommend just getting skirts because they're a lot easier and i just pair these with tank tops and a sports bra and then this is another one and this is a really good um, Adidas and Nike stuff, their tennis stuff is kind of expensive. So if you're just starting out and you're not really sure what you want to do, I would definitely go with the Old Navy Sports Bras because those are kind of the, on the cheaper end. And um, Target in the kids section, if you're a smaller girl, you could get, not like smaller, like young, but like just like if you wear kind of on the smaller sizes, you can just get the girls, like little kids skirts. And this is actually a Target little kids champion skirt. And I just get them in a large and they're so much cheaper than getting the adult ones. And they fit just fine. So that is what I wear. And that is the equipment that I use. And like I said, I um, mostly play in season. I play the whole season. And then, um, I mean, I haven't played. I've played like twice since season ended. So that's been months. So I don't, I'm not a very often season player. I'm not very serious about it. I'm not nearly as good enough to play in college. And he's a lot better than me. But that's just a little bit about tennis, and I'm sorry if you didn't like this video or if it was really lengthy. I'm really sorry, um, but that's just a little bit about it, and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or anything, comments, concerns, just leave them down below, and I will answer those. And Okay, we'll have all of our links in the down bar below, and then I have a question for you guys also. Um, my sister has a blog, and she does a blog, and she just did a blog sale, and it actually went over really well. So I was wondering, I know people, like, sell clothes on YouTube, like, that they've used. I was just wondering if y'all would be interested in that at all, and, um, like, not very used clothes, or clothes that sell the tags on them, or, like, purses, or heels. But, um, Brianne said, that's my sister, said it went over really well, so I was just wondering, like, what y'all would think about that. So, yeah, if you... Just leave us your feedback down below and thanks for watching.